you'll hang up, Bobby. Because you didn't want them talking. But yet you saying you didn't want her gone entirely. I'm not sure if I believe that. All right, y'all. So again, with what Robin, I mean, what Bobby got to say about Robin. <laughs> so, um, interesting. Robin talked a lot about Bobby Brown. How she couldn't stand him. So I can see why she would hate him because he stole a girl. Bobby says what he needed Robin to understand. And he didn't think she was a bad person. But what he, th what he wanted her to understand is that he was now Whitney's husband. <laughs> That's what he said. That he was now Whitney's husband. And she wasn't her husband. <laughs> and how their relationship had to change. Meaning they had to stop fucking around. <laughs> they had to stop their affair. And Bobby says, but he didn't want her gone entirely. Ooh. He didn't want her gone entirely. But it seemed like you did, Bobby. It seemed like you did. Because the fact that Whitney did get rid of her, that insists of some type of problem that you might have had because you influenced her with that decision. Am I correct? Am I, am I, am I, am I wrong, y'all? And then when, would Ro when Robin would call Whitney, you'll hang up, Bobby. Because you didn't want them talking. But yet you saying you didn't want her gone entirely. I'm not sure if I believe that. I understand though as a man or just in a relationship. You married to somebody. And their ex is still lingering around. Because you know Bobby wasn't stupid. That is a problem. Man, woman, whatever. LBGT, whatever. That's a problem. And he's had to change. I guess Winnie thought she was an exception. Because Robin was a woman. A lot of these girls and women, they think that just because cheating or whatever, or just be a, a same sex relationships with women don't count because they're women. It's kind of sexist to think that. Apparently, in Whitney's life, her relationship with Robin did count. And according to Whitney's family and close friends, the fact that she wasn't allowed to have that relationship, it caused her to have a downfall. Excuse me. So. If anything, if it did count in her world with her family, friends, her mama, more importantly, her parents, without her dad trying to kill Robin all the time, putting hits out on her, it would have count. And if Bobby would have been a man and would have just been like, you know, I think you should be with her, probably encourage her, you know, say, you know, I, I think I want to get a divorce. Maybe we should be friends. If Bobby Chris was born and she wanted kids or something, probably could have spoke to him about that, you know. But I don't know. I don't think Bobby would have easily gave up his daughter, especially to have Robin raise her, you know, to have that. But Bobby, as a man, if you knew this, I think you should have had a conversation with her and just told her, like, okay, I have a feeling that she could be gay gay and you're in love with uh, Robin and I just think you should probably be with her. And if... You need my support if you want me to be here with you. I will support you and leave it at that. And, you know, he could have just did whatever he wanted. He could have focused on this career that he claims that he had and reinvented it uh, to the best of his ability and become and became the top star and married his dream girl, Alicia, uh, several years before, you know. So I just feel like if Whitney had a little encouragement around her, as these people keep saying, well, if Robin was there, it just would have made things better. It would have made a lot of things better. <sighs> but he doesn't stop talking about her. <laughs> Let's get into the next video.